Good Wednesday evening, everybody, from the News Channel 3 Home Office Backyard. I'm meteorologist Austin on it, clearing off a few leaves out here for the evening hours as they've been blowing to and fro across the area. Thanks to the storm system that we had roll through from earlier this afternoon into earlier this morning. A lot of rainfall across the Mid-South, much needed rainfall, and we continue again to see some sprinkles coming down. We may have to move this indoors here pretty soon, considering we're getting some raindrops on the computer equipment, and we don't want that. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, as of right now, as we look out across the backyard, we're seeing, again, some pretty cloudy conditions out there, and that means, again, we're going to be seeing little, if anything, available in the possibility of seeing a lot of good stargazing condition for later on tonight. Satellite picture is showing, again, some pretty thick cloud cover across the area, trying to break up, but we have some leftover showers passing through, and will continue across parts of the area throughout the rest of the evening, finally clearing up as we get into tomorrow morning. So you say to yourself, okay, well... That's okay. I can just wait until tomorrow and do a little bit of stargazing and planet gazing tomorrow. Well, you might get some planets and stars in, but unfortunately there will not be anything really available in the way of satellite flyovers. Very dim possibilities of seeing anything flying over and less of a chance of seeing anything in the way of anything majorly bright like the International Space Station or anything else. So for tomorrow morning, not that much going on. Now over the course of the next couple of days, you will be able to see uh, in, early in the morning or early in the evening right about sunset or so and just afterwards you will be able to pick up uh, the International Space Station. That should be decently visible as we get into the early evening hours in some of the night sky as we go over the next few nights through the Thanksgiving holiday tomorrow and into next weekend. You also will have a chance to see the brand new Chinese Space Station. It'll be visible on some locations out there. You'll be able to see Tiangong 2, the currently manned space station from China making its way overhead. Tiangong 1, which has been abandoned and will be crashing to Earth at some point in time in the next several months. Again, not an imminent threat, but something else to take a look at. If you want to take a look and see what's up there, head to heavens-above.com. Plug in your address and your time zone, and you'll be able to get a lot more information in there about what exactly you can see overhead. You can also see, which is really kind of cool, where the latest spacecraft are flying outwards from. All of our outbound uh, spacecraft out there, the Pioneers, the Voyagers, and the New Horizon. Where are they located? Which constellation are they seen in? How long does it take a signal to reach there in terms in terms of light minutes, it takes a long time to get to some of those spacecraft, some about maybe 10 to 15 hours for a one-way transmission to make its way all the way out to where they're located, flying away from the solar system, and a long time to make a reply back on a very low amount of power. So if you'd like to see more about that, that's also available at heavens-above.com, along with a ton of other great astronomical viewing opportunities if you'd like to take a look at that. A lot of questions in the last few days and weeks about what kind of telescope would be good to buy somebody for the holidays, somebody getting them interested in astronomy, somebody would like to know more about you know, what's more expensive, what's got the most amount of controls, the least amount, what's the basic telescope that I should get, things like that. Well, your questions will be answered as you go into tomorrow, or pardon me, next Friday evening, the Memphis Astronomical Society will be holding their How to Buy a Telescope meeting. That'll be held on Friday, the 2nd of December at Christian Brothers University. Yeah, that's the uh, CC Science Hall in the Science Laboratory. Great opportunity to show up, ask questions, get some ideas as to what exactly it is you want to get somebody, whether they're a novice or a professional equipment that you can buy to help make stargazing a little bit more easier. This is going to be your opportunity. And again, that'll be next Friday at 8 p.m. on the campus of Christian Brothers University in Central Memphis, the Memphis Astronomical Society, also available at memphisastro.org. If you'd like to know more about contacting information and who to speak to if you can't make the meeting, that's also available there as well. Keep it tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the holiday weekend. We'll keep you updated on what's going on with, astro with astronomy and all kinds of other great stuff where it comes to science. We'll give you more information about that in the course of the next several days on the various social media networks that you see at the bottom of your screen. Once again, a little bit more shower activity moving into the area. We'll probably go ahead and have to cut this short 
so we don't ruin too much of the equipment. But again, not good viewing conditions for astronomy tonight, but a few things online that you can explore that we just took a look at a little while ago. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik from the ever getting much more wetter backyard, moving back indoors again. Stay tuned for more coming up on News Channel 3 throughout the weekend, including your complete forecast with Tim, Jim, and Todd, and myself by Friday. And again, if anything involves science or astronomy, remember to keep looking up.